Cheerleaders are in the V formation. <laughs> oh, flying V. <laughs> Mighty Duck Anthem. So Preston running the camera at halftime then? Just, just point it at the field, yeah, and let them do us. There isn't even anything on the field, is there? What's that? Is there anything in halftime? No, we. Cheerleaders do anything? They might go out there. It's just the pep. Oh, it's a, it looks like the whole band. I thought they said they was just going to bring the pep band, but uh, it looks like the whole band. The whole band? I think it's the Ray band. Is this thing on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose maybe they couldn't move the outfield fence in 10 feet because of irrigation lines or something. Oh, I wish this was like K fan and I had all those noises, all yeah, those the lower the sounds. Case, lower case no, just D. the sounds. Sound the sounds effects. that they make, sound yeah. effects. Yeah. I always love that one. Yeah. yeah. How far did you hit it? <laughs> they got all the dark star. He's dead, <laughs> but they use his. I always yeah. love that one. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yes! Yeah, baby. No! Yeah. Hey oh. Just don't say a hole. <laughs> Let John tell us when we're live, ducks. Are we live? But you're, but you're live. Are we live? That's. I'm always live in my own head. Yeah. Think about it. That's what she said? She, who she said? She sells by seashells, seashells down by the seashore. The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. Well, how come? John! John, John. the deck guy!
and welcome again everybody it's another cardinal telecast here on the gemini studios mid-continent cable network live football from mahoney field tape delay on midco channel 20. today it's the cardinals versus the saint peter saints the cardinals the number one seed in section three triple a now seeing the St. Peter starting lineups here first. As the Cardinals come in, the number one seed in the section. St. Peter, the number four seed. Cardinals got to buy the first round. St. Peter upended Laverne in the first round of the playoffs. That St. Peter defeating them 40-26. They were led by quarterback Wyatt Olson, completed 23 passes. For 342 yards that night and three TDs. They have a bunch of good receivers in the Cardinals who come in 7-1. and one, Last played against New Alm, a 56-0 win. Some history between these two teams. You'll have to go back to 2016-17 season when the Cards defeated St. Peter. 23 or 27 13. That's the last time we haven't played them for a couple years. For the Cardinals, wide receiver number two there, Tony Nuss. Number three for the Cardinals on offense will be Hayden Burhau. Number five for the Cardinals, Alex Catava, the backup quarterback, playing a receiver today. At quarterback for the Cardinals, the senior. Garrett Myron, he's thrown for over 1,300 yards and 16 TDs. He's also rushed for quite a few TDs. Number 17 there, Dustin Schultz. And in the backfield there, uh, Trell Huey. That's that offensive line. Carson Toomer, number 54. Cedric Parker. And number 55, Jacob Rod. And also in that line, number 60, Riley Shafee. And rounding out the Cardinal line, number 75, Eli Rodinius, the 6'1 senior. Second round of the playoffs, other games in the playoffs. Jackson County Central, the number two seed, defeated Sibley East 42-8. And Tri-City United upended Worthington 54-20. So Jackson County Central will be hosting Tri-City United, the number three seed, the number two seed there, Jackson County Central. The two seed, a repeat from last year when Tri-City defeated. Our Jackson County Central defeated St. Peter 37-27, a rematch. In the regular season, Tri-City defeated St. Peter 19-6. Cardinals defeated Tri-City 29-27. And they said that Tri-City got their quarterback back. No, he did not play against their starter. So Jackson County Central will be facing that starter. At least they didn't get a nickel. Yeah. Hey, Trip here along with Ole and the Gemini crew. hi oh. Last year in the playoffs in the opening round, the Cards hosted the Laverne Cardinals here, winning 42-19. Cardinals will kick off here. Gorgeous Saturday afternoon for football. End over end kick, it's gonna hit at the 10 and scoot into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. Saints will start at their own 20. As I said, they'll be led by the quarterback, Wyatt Olson, a 6'5", 216 pound junior, throws the ball all over, he's got some receivers, Hunter Wilmus, Brock Hansen, Nathan Fogle, Joey Barron, have an outstanding year for the Saints, and Matthew Pettis on defense for the Cardinals. In that defensive line, Nick Tate, Jazz Heisey, Dominic Ortiz, and Jacob Ron. And Thomas Johnson. Backers, Zach Ringnell, Jordan Walter. Run up the middle and a good gain here for the Saints. Cornerbacks, Daniel Ryder. Caden Bart, safeties. Dustin Schultz. And 
Garrett Myron. A gain of eight here for the Saints. Ball out to the 28. Saints spread it out just as the Cardinals do. Quarterback being under pressure, looking downfield, got a receiver on the outside, and that's going to be overthrown. Olsen escaped the rush, and set up, looked downfield, had the receiver there. Intended for Fogel, number 28. Joey Barron, one of the favorite targets. He had six catches for 83 yards in that game against Laverne. Hanson caught seven for 121. Run around the left end and first down yardage for the Saints. Tackle by Garrett Myron. Ball carrier, Hunter Wilmus. 185-pound senior. Cardinals, number one seed with a seven and one record. The Saints come in six and three, run up the middle, a short gain there. Zach Ring now and Nick Tate in the bottom of that pile there. It was bright and sunny earlier, uh, now a hazy sky here. Can't smell anybody burning. No, no leaf burning yet. Had a dense fog this morning. Yeah, that was kind of nifty. Good for the pothole shooters, the duck hunters. Yeah. Second and eight, ball at the 36 yard line. Hand off up the middle and a gain of a half a yard. Tate and Ringnell again on the tackle for the Cardinals. Johnson on the carry. Ringnell with the tackle. The third down and long. Cardinals have some playoff history with the Saints. In 2015, 2016, they defeated the Saints 35 21. Christian Ingeman had a great game in that. Contest, five yard and third yard, three yard, 27 yard TD catches. Olson, the tallest player on the Saints team, looking downfield, got a receiver over the middle. Now he's gonna bring it down. He's got running room here near side and he's gonna be hit out of bounds. Coming up and making a nice pop there. Look at that again. Frank and Ryder on the tackle. Wyatt Frank, he comes up with a big pop here on Olsen, but he picks up the first down for the Saints. And there's a close block there too on Walter. First down run. Ball be at the Saints, 47 yard line. Burrow adjusting to the backfield, run up the middle. Short yardage there, and Walter and company. And Heinze there on the tackle. Josh Heinze, a six foot, 190 pound junior, along with Ortiz in that line, 5'10, 200 pound senior. Number one seed against the number four seed here. First possession here for the Saints. Looking downfield, rush up the middle and a toss out there and they're gonna say the catch is made and that'll be a first down for the Saints. Number seven, Joey Barron. Let's see if he picked that up before he hit the blades of grass here. State Farm John Corsmo replay. Cards had some pressure. Hard to tell. Ball on the cards, 41. 8.45 to go here, first quarter. No score. Hand off in the backfield, some running room up the middle here. Ring now. Trips him up. Saints led Laverne 20-0 before Laverne came back and made it 32-26 in the fourth quarter. 
Another handoff up the middle. Tate there hit him early, and Thomas Johnson, along with a host of Cardinals. It'll bring up third down here in short with eight to play here in the first half. Saints opening drive. Chirpinoli and the Gemini crew on a beautiful Saturday afternoon for football. Hi-ho. Quarterback will keep it himself. He's got the first down, down near the 27-yard line. Saints move the sticks again. Cardinals also played the Saints in the playoffs back in 2014, 2015. They won that game 14-6, a close one there. Peter Erickson had TD runs, one yard and 49 yards. Jack Maxted booted both extra points. In that 14-6 win. Brady Jensen, Matt Lytle had interceptions in that game. Some former alum. Hand off up the middle and just over the line of scrimmage. Tate there once well, again. Definitely chewing up some clock here. Yeah. Some big guys in that mm -hmm. offensive line for the Saints. Nikolai, a 6'1", 254-pound sophomore. And Logan Reese, the guard, he's only 5'7", but he weighs 271. And the center, 234, Carson Kennedy, a junior. So they got some beef in that front line. Crossbuck play and running room here for the, the Saints. Hunter Wilmus with the carry, and he's near another first down here. And he does have the first down. Yeah, after watching the Saints throw the ball all over against Laverne last week, the Saints are pounding it on the ground here. They have a plan. 6.17 to go. Pair of receivers here on the bottom of your screen. Quarterback keeper, run up the middle. Going to be a good gain here for the quarterback. And Wyatt Olson, 6'5", 216. It's going to tire out our uh, two-way players, too. And Olson had 3D, three TD tosses in that. 46-26 win over Laverne. They also blocked a punt for a touchdown in that game against Laverne. Number two seed, Jackson County Central is taking on number three seed, Tri-City United. Run up the middle and going to be near first down yardage. Jacob Ron will check in here on defense. Trying to get some more beef in that line. Frank will come out. Third and one here. Five, 12 and counting. First quarter, no score. Cards can plug up the middle here. Third and one. Quarterback draw, hit in the backfield and runs through that tackle. He's gonna have a first down and goal here for the Saints. Had a shot at him in the backfield there. The Hate to say it, but the Saints are marching right down the field. Wah, 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 they don't even have any trombones. <laughs> 454. Clock stopped to move the chains. First and goal from the five of the car. High snap, given the backfield, and still some plush yardage there by Hunter Wilmus, the 185 pound senior running back. I think they're going to be content to just try to run three or four times. He's going to say, make a stop. Stop us on the ground. Winner will play next Friday night up in New Alm, the Section 3 AAA Championship game. Played there last couple of years on new artificial turf field at New Alm High School. Olsen, same formation. Wilmus in the backfield behind him. He'll hand it right off to him up the middle. Spins out of a tackle. Touchdown, Saints. Touchdown, 4.07 to go. Saints on the board here in quarter number one. 
Just power football up the middle. Wilmus with the touchdown. And the conversion, no good. Good play there by Nick Tate. Look at the touchdown again. Touchdown again. Here, your State Farm John Corsmo replay. Straight option run up the middle, hit at about the goal line, and then spun off that hit and into the end zone. Go to the Saints. They're on top first. PAT, no good here. Or two point conversion try, excuse me. Stopping Michael Connor was Nick Tate. Hey, some proud sport is the Cardinal Youth Activities for this broadcast under the authority of the Minnesota State High School League. Culligan and Water Condition, Olson Reynolds. Hey, hey. Bowmore Lanes, Doodle Carpet and Paints, The Butcher Block. AOK Plumbing and Heating, Bank Midwest, Fairmont Photo Press, Fairmont what Body Shop, Crest Refrigerator. Hey! Tate's Tree Service, Farm Bureau Insurance, Dave Hewson, Saddest Insulation, Thriving Financial, Scott Foreman, and Burtis Chiropractic. Off coming from the hash, it'll be a cross kick, nice high kick that's going to be fielded by Ortiz. He's got some running room here near side, or it's Walter, excuse me. Jordan, or it is Ortiz, 29. This good return here. It was number 29 for the Cardinals, not 28. Jordan Walter. Oof. Those jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> Flesh tight jerseys. Hit high and then spun down. Cards will start with good field position here at the 41 yard line with four minutes to go here first quarter. They trail 6 0. Walter up the middle. He gains a couple. Walter on the carry. 347. Garrett Myron having a great year. 16 touchdowns passing, eight touchdowns rushing. rushing. Walter, a good year too. He scored six touchdowns, 430 yards on the ground this year. Give that Walter. He's got running room. He's got a first down, a lot more. Carries into the Saints territory. A run of 12 yards. Jordan Walter with a first down run. Cardinals coach Matt Mahoney there in shorts today. Testament to the nice Saturday. State Farm John Corsmo replay. Good blocking in there by Ron. Sealed off block, made a big hole there for Jordan Walter, one of the Cardinals seniors. Fake inside, Myron will keep it himself, looking for the outside corner, looking for a block out there, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 27 with the tackle for the Saints. Kai Anderson. That'll bring up second and 10. 5'9", junior. Blake Bunger, split in, will come in. In that line for the Cardinals, Eli Redinius, Riley Chafee, Carson Toomer, Jacob Ron, Cedric Parker. Bunger and Burhau will come here to the near side, bottom of your screen. Myron, he'll flip one out here to Bunger, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard or more. Tackle being by number four for the Nick Morgan Senior. Saints. Opening possession, taken straight down the field by the. Saints, an 80-yard drive. Cardinals started at their own 42 here. And they face a third and 10. Double wides here for Myron. He's looking downfield. Got a receiver down there, and that one's incomplete. 
He had two receivers in the area, Nuss and, and Schultz. I think he actually tipped it away from his own guy and intercepting it. Yeah, the Saints play defense against their own, against their own guy. <laughs> You want to say that again? You cut out for a second. Yeah. <laughs> kind of one of those cotton balls in my throat floating around here. I like your Halloween costume here, you Duck Dynasty. Hey, that's just me. Good snap. Wobbly end over end kick. Going to hit around the 15, take a cardinal bounce. The Saints are going to start inside their own five yard line. Great kick here by Jack Hested. Hey, some other proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities include Slumberland, Beamer Companies, Militello Motors, American Glass, Fairmont Ford, Associate Autometry, Lawn Solutions, Lund Chiropractic, Pizza Ranch, Hertzke Construction, State Farm Insurance, John Corsmo, your agent there, as the sun kind of peeks out here. Ball at the four yard line of the Saints. Three receivers to the top of your screen. Drop back in the end zone, looking downfield. Got some time, deep ball out there. It's underthrown, but it's caught. Coming back to make the catch is number seven for the... Joey Barron. One of the favorite targets of Wyatt Olson. As that one was a, what you call not a pretty pass, a wobbly duck kind of pass, but it did, did the trick here. Good protection for... Olson, but he got the pass completed. It took a hit after he completed the pass in a 40 yard play. Just like that, the they're, they're out of their end zone. With 108 to go. Hand off up the middle. It's Tate and Walter right there. Ringnell also in there. Did you call that the back shoulder throw there? I don't know. I thought it just looked underthrown. <laughs> <laughs> made a great adjustment to come back and catch it. Yeah, he did. Second and 10. And 34 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Play clock at 7. Olson, pressure. He's being chased outside. It's Tate. Ball come loose. They're going to say he was down. Tate drops Olson for a huge loss. Big play by the Cardinals. Nick Tate. This time Olson couldn't escape. Nate or Tate, the defensive end, went inside. That broke containment, but he was quick enough to bring down Olsen, and when his elbow hit the ground, the ball came flying out. Looks like we might have a timeout. All right, that's the end of the first quarter here. Your State Farm, John Corzmo replay. After one quarter, it's the Saints six. They scored on a three-yard Wilmus run. The two-point conversion, no good. Hey, some proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities in club. Rebby International, Jake's Pizza, D-War Electric, and Gemini Studios. And now, located right next to Gemini Studios, a couple doors down from Jake's Pizza, Replay. You can go down there and see Mr. John the Tech Guy, and he's got all the old games, new games. Come in and he'll take your games, and he'll sell them. He also has a lot of stuff on the shelves there. Stop down and see. Replay, now downtown Fairmont. You want to play a game? Yes, sir. Other proud supporters <laughs> include the Ranch Family Restaurant, Frontier Communications, Grab Tire, Lakeview Funeral Homes, the Squeegee Brothers, State Bank of Fairmont, Johnson Barons and Wilson's Law Firm, Midwest Audio Video, FairmontSports.com, U.S. Bank, Fairmont Area School District, 2752, Mayo Clinic Health Systems. Second quarter, Saints with their second possession. Bubble screen, it's set up well inside here. Cardinals come up with a big play. Caden Bartz and company, Zach Ringnell. It'll bring up fourth down here for the Saints. Watch this defensive stop here by the Cardinals. Looked like it was gonna be promising here and the receiver 
Cut it back to the outside. Thomas Johnson forced them outside. Ring now and Bartz lowers the boom on Barron. Saints will have to punt it away here. Walter will be back around his own 35 yard line. It's like Pettis will do the punting here. Ringnell up the middle. Good rush, and it's blocked by the Cardinals. Ball's loose on the ground, and it'll be the Cardinals' ball as they'll take over deep in Saints' territory. Ringnell and Heinze in there. <laughs> Look at this replay again here. The Cardinals will take over. Ringnell up the middle, and then Tate and him both, and it's Ringnell. They got the paw on it. And the Cardinals will take over deep in Saints territory here in the start of the second quarter. Eight chirp here along with the Gemini crew and Ole! hi -oh! Big break here for the Cardinals. Garrett Meyer. Burhau on the bottom of your screen. You know, pitch it out to him real quick. He's got some running room. Puts his head down and nears the 15-yard line. Good game there. Great play by the Cardinals special teams. Saints had three uh, blockers in front of the kicker, but somehow Tate and Ringnell got through that wall. Ten thirty-five and counting. Saints lead. Four-yard run by Wilmus. Burhau in the slot on top. Crossbuck play. It's Ringnell carrying the ball, and he ain't. Going to lose some yardage on that play. Been tackled by 55 for and the uh, Saints. Mr. Wall Lockensgard. Lockensgard, huh? Seth, 235-pound, uh, 6'2", senior. Yeah, your buddy Seth. Seth Lockensgard. <laughs> so a loss on the play. It'll be second and six from the Saints 18 with 9.55 to go. Walter in the backfield here with Myron. He's looking downfield. He's going to let it fly. Got a receiver open on the sideline. And they're going to say incomplete. That's Thomas Johnson. The receiver. Couldn't come up with the catch. Going to bring fourth down. Nussin. Catavo will come in here. Myron over to the sidelines for the play here. Clock stop with 9.44 on the incompletion. Six nothing Saints. Number four seed Saints. Six and three. Number one seed Cardinals. Seven and one. Myron. Outside route and that's too far out of bounds. Saints will take over. <coughs> That'll bring out the Cardinal defense. Nine forty to go. Some other proud supporters of Cardinal youth activities include Mayo Clinic Health Systems, JL Computers, Fairmont Booster Club, Century Twenty One, Lakeview Funeral Home, Graham Tire. Olsen, the handoff up the middle. And Ringnell, double team. They know he's a good tackler. They boxed him out of the play. Ortiz in the middle of that line, along with Ron. Gain of three. Second and seven. Ball on the Saints' own 21 yard line. Play clock down to seven. Looks like Saints are content to use every bit of that. Quarterback run here. Nears that first down marker. Dropped out near the 28 yard line. And that's gonna be a first down. Saints using that bulk in that offensive line here, Ole. They just keep, uh, keep running it at us and Keeps working. 
What the heck, man? Eli Lubiani comes in, a sophomore receiver, number 10 in the bottom of your screen. He's picked up by Bartz. A couple of receivers top of your screen for Olsen. He'll keep it himself again, and Thomas Johnson, first one there. Short game. Thomas Johnson, the senior defensive end. Had a big play in that New Orleans game. Catch, touchdown. Had a fake punt catch this year. Eight minutes to go, second quarter. Six nothing, Saints. Ball on the 30 yard line of the Saints. Second, nine. Once again, Olsen runs the play clock down to seven. Looking downfield, got a receiver down there. He picked off! Daniel Ryder down the sideline, running room. Flag comes out on the near sideline here. Touchdown, Cardinals. We got a flag on the Cardinals sideline. Daniel Ryder picked it off near the 25 yard line. Six for the Cardinals. 7.37 to go. Penalty on the Cardinals. That'll be enforced after the touchdown here. The penalty infraction on the Cardinals that they were on the field in front, uh, not giving the ref enough room along the sidelines. So Hestad will come on for the extra point, a chance to put the Cardinals ahead here. Daniel Ryder, INT. TD. TD. Kick is up, kick is good. Cards lead 7-6 here on Daniel Ryder's touchdown. Let's look at that again. The receiver there, Ryder took it right away from him. Your State Farm John Corsmo replay. Olsen, plenty of time again. And Ryder out leaped Barron and he took it down the sidelines with a wall of blockers in front of him and Walter leading the way. And into the end zone, Daniel Ryder, what a huge interception. Get that ball at that high point. 7.37 to go here in the second quarter. Cards lead 7-6. And the extra point by Hested. State Farm, John Corsmo replay. There is a slight breeze coming from the Saints side towards the Cardinal side. Low line driving kick, that's bobbled at the 35. And Walter and company will tackle the Saints there. They'll start with good field position. First and 10, Saints, Olsen, 7.30 to play. Option play, shovel pass. And the Saints work it for about three yards. Being an Olsen, Ole Olsen, why no relation, the quarterback for St. Peter? Oh, he's a distant cousin. Distant, distant. Somewhere in that. Unless he's tree. one of those ENs. We're not related to them. <laughs> You're, for, you're from the north side of Norway. Yeah? You remember when we used to have phone books? Yeah. Yeah, we, we used to take up like three pages of it. Yeah. You and the Smiths. <laughs> and the Johnsons. And the Johnsons. 6.50 to go. Cards lead 7-6 on Daniel Ryder's interception. Handoff in the backfield. And the flag comes out late. And it might think, be a face uh, mask, maybe. I think I'm going to concur with you. Yes? I concur.
see if it's the flagrant face mask or any five yard face mask. I'm going with five. That'll be an automatic first down. Face mask. And the it was. Five yard penalty, first down for the Saints. An intentional five. face mask. So the ball moved to the Cardinals 49 yard line. 6.41 to go. Section three, triple A football playoffs. Winner moves on. We'll play Friday night, November 2nd at Saint, or at New Alm on the turf. Jackson County Central ahead of Tri-City United, seven nothing with six and a half to play here. The two, three seeds are moving in the offensive line here. Cards will get the face mask penalty back, but it still be first down. They might. I kind of like this ref. He, uh, he, he, can he hear announces him. and you can hear <laughs> yeah. him. I should get him mic'd up, huh? That'd be the next step, eh? First and 15, eh, is good. Well, Six I mean, we 12. got the yeah. we got the end zone clocks. Uh, play clock. There you go. There you go. Once again, Olsen trying to draw him off sides, run up the middle here. And a big hit there. And once again, it's Bartz leveling the ball carrier. Connor on the carry. Johnson is tackled. Leaves falling off the trees here. Fall has arrived. Nice. You get to rake all those leaves, don't you, Oli? You got one no. of those vacuumers down there at the we got rental shop? Leaf vax. Leaf vax? We got a leaf vac we rent, and then we also sell mowers with collection systems. Second and 12, ball on the Saints, 49 yard line. Johnson threatening blitz. Olsen with some wide open space, it completes the pass, and the first down for the Saints. With the catch, Joey Barron. Good protection again for. Wyatt Olson. Walter on the stop. Choice of targets. Look at that again. State Farm John Corey with more replay. Just crisscross outs underneath and Barron covered by no one. Picks up a Saints first down. Ball will be at the Cardinal 38 with five to go. Cards leading by Jack Hestead's extra point and Daniel Ryder's interception return. First and 10 Saints, low snap, going deep, and that's gonna be overthrown. Good coverage down there. Myron made sure the Saints weren't gonna catch that one. Daniel Ryder also in on the coverage. Got your pumpkin carved yet? No, nah, we're gonna do that tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Second and 10, 4.43, clock stopped on that incompletion. Olsen looking downfield, got a receiver out in the flats. Johnson giving chase. Ball come loose, it's on the ground. Did Ringnell get it? Cardinals think so. Coach Mahoney thinks so. The ball came loose on the hit, it was in play. Did it fall out of bounds along the sideline? Ringnell said I had it. And it looks like the Saints are gonna keep it. Keyword had. I think it might look at the play again here. I don't know if you're gonna see much with all the players and the coaches on the sideline as it, Ringnell. Yeah. Johnson giving chase, they came up. Ringnell has it for a second. Boom, but... right there, the ball's on the ground. And Johnson comes back to reach for it and ring now. And might have gone out of bounds on the sideline. I think when he went to grab it, he hit it with his forearm kind of back towards the St. Peter player. So third and short, 
Hand off in the backfield and diving for that stick. Going to be short. Going to bring up fourth down. Big defensive play here for the Cards. Fourth down and two to the Saints. 4.20 to go. Fourth and two here for the Saints. Cards leading by an extra point. 7-6. Lubiani in with the play for Olsen. Huge fourth down here. Huge. Crowd's getting into it. Five seconds to go on the play clock and a timeout call by the Cardinals. Coach Mahoney wants to talk about his defensive set here. Along with defensive coordinator Brad Johnson. What a ball game we got here. Section quarterfinal. Semifinal. In the semifinals. You got Cards got a bye. Laverne was defeated by St. Peter, the four seed, five seed game, 40 26 in the three six seed game. Tri City United, now five and four, defeated Worthington. And Civil East was upended by Jackson, and Jackson taking on Tri City United right now. And after one there, it was seven nothing. Jackson, the winners will meet in New Orleans for the championship. Fourth and two. As the crowd faithful, trying to get the car defense fired up here. Olsen, straight drop, no pressure. Over the middle, pass is caught. Barron with the catch. First down, Saints. First and 10, Saints, 334 and counting to go here on the Cards 26 yard line. Good protection, last play for Olsen to get that pass off on fourth and two. They come up big, hand off up the middle. And big push here, gonna gain about five, six yards. Saints go back to that ground game. Yeah, it's been working well, that's for sure. A Couple of good stops, but for the most part, been average in probably what? Four or five yards of carry. That's what coach always said, you get four yards each carry on three plays, that's a first down. Every time. Second and five here for Olsen and the Saints. Ring now, right up to the line of scrimmage. Short gain again. Ron had an early arm tackle, him and Ring now. Ball carrier busted through that, picked up another couple yards. Going to bring up third down and four. But two and a half to play here in the first half. Hey, you're watching Cardinal football here on the Gemini Studios Mid Continent Cable Network. Tape delay here on Midco Channel 20. Olson, third and four. 212 on the clock, play clock. Running down again. It's at five. Counter play in the backfield and pushing towards that first down. It looks like the Saints will pick it up here. It'll stop the clock with 2.02 to go. It's going to be close. Yeah, they got it. Big running back in there, a new running back. Number 12 for the Saints, Jeremy Johnson. He's the load, 215.59 senior. He had to carry for the first down. Yeah, I see KYC is here again. Different guy in the corner of the end zone. First and 10, ball on the cards, 16. Give up the middle. And stretching with that ball is Johnson, Heinze, and Tate again on the tackle for the cards. Tate. Nick Tate, 165-pound senior, a bulldog in that defensive line. Him and Heinze, Heinze, 190. Clock down to 112 and counting here in the first half. Cards with the 7-6 lead.
Quarterback will keep it himself. He's got some running room up the middle, dropped at the 10. Olsen. Tackle there by Ortiz and company. Gonna bring up third and short. And I think the Saints are gonna talk about this with 44 seconds to go. Yeah, they got plenty of time for a couple, three plays here, Ole. Oh man, if they get one in here, that's gonna, it's gonna hurt going into the half. I believe they call that momentum. Well, they went for the two point conversion. I wonder if they have a kicker. I think they do because Lubiani is the kicker and last week he made two of three extra point attempts. I believe. Hey, congratulations to the girls soccer team. Finishing runner up to Mankato West in the section championship. Also, Sarah Krumholtz, Laura Thompson, Will Sari, cross country runners will make the trip to state. Here's your huge third down defensive stop. Huge. huge. This is huge. Or is the fourth down stop going to be the huge? They've been successful on that crossing pattern here inside and underneath. Let's see what Olson will do here. 44 seconds to go. It's a toss out in the flat, catch is made, and shoved out of bounds around the three. Well, they're gonna keep the clock running. They'll stop the clock on the out of bounds here. No, the, first and goal. he first gave second. the wind it signal. They didn't, yep. call him out of bounds. It's first and goal though, 30 seconds to go. Something's gotta happen Saints here. are gonna take another time out here with 26 seconds, 25. Well, they're no. gonna let the clock run here. So. You're gonna have to put clock. Gonna have to put clock time back on the clock. Well, yeah, okay. So I get yes. Yeah, clock spot. Clock stops on first down. Right. But the sideline judge gotcha. did not give an out of bounds signal. Right. He, he gave the, the for progress the stop. Stop. Inbounds. Gotcha. Signal. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. So yes, it's still supposed to stop, but it will start as soon, soon as they as wind it. But now the Saints have called timeout. So they put 40 on the clock, but I don't think that's right either. Yeah, I looked, it was about 36, wasn't it? I thought that's what over? I said. Now they're gonna start it here. And then the Saints will call, uh, call the timeout. Okay. That's their second timeout. Yeah. Saints got on the board in the first quarter. They marched right up the field 80 yards and scored on Wilmus' three-yard run at 407 mark. The only scoring. The X two-point conversion, no good. Was that a And then the cards come back. Did we Interception just... by Ryder. Touchdown. And Hested Hector Point the differential. You were saying? Sorry, I was just did we just have a do-over? And I, I believe the, the white hat official was just over there chewing some butt on the other officials for yeah. some reason. Sure looked like from this vantage point anyway. The Saints pick up the first down. It's first and goal. Ball's on the cards four. They have 37 seconds on the clock. Yeah. Will the Saints be content to run it here with four downs and 37 seconds? Wilmus in the backfield with Olsen. And a whistle will stop play here. Cardinals are gonna call a timeout. timeout As Coach Mahoney saw the offensive formation and checked, see what they were gonna do. And he just got that timeout before the play snap. Cardinals did not play the Saints during the regular season. They haven't played them for a couple of years. Last time they played them was in 2016, 2017. Cardinals are victorious in that game. And Kallenbach had 136 yards on the ground, 91 yards passing, Nate Kallenbach. And Cards have played the, the Saints in the playoffs a couple of times, 2000. 
14-15, they won 14-6. 2015-16, they defeated the Cards 35-21. Here we go. 37 seconds on the clock. First and goal from the four. First half. Olsen, he's gonna throw it, looking over the middle. Got a receiver down there. Catch is made and hit at the goal line. What a catch. You're gonna hurry up and run it here with 24 seconds to go. And they're gonna line up quick here. We're gonna get back to live action here. They're gonna arrive. Second and goal from the one. Hand off up the middle, hit in the backfield. And reaching over the goal line, the Saints score with eight seconds to go here in the first half. So the cards can't hold the Saints from getting into the end zone. Nice play on that defensive pass to keep the Saints out of the end zone, but they line up quickly and score from the yard out. Eight ticks on the clock. Saints will go for two here. One yard run. Wilmus. Same formation here. Wilmus looking to the outfield and the receiver spun inside and he fell down. Two point conversion, no good. Saints go on top here, 12-7. Look, look at the run here. Up the middle, number eight. Spun through a couple of tackles and reached for the end zone. Hunter Wilmus gets his second one yard TD run. two-pointer you do not see it it's off screen and the receiver fell down he wasn't pushed down or interfered with he tried to do a stop in the inside and then go to the outside and slipped on the turf so the Saints will kick off here with eight seconds to go Might have to put on your second jacket here in the second half, maybe. It's starting to chill a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Wind picks up a little bit more. Low line drive kick. Bartz catches it. He'll take it up to the 45 yard line with four seconds to go. And see if the cards will just kneel this down. Ah, Hail Mary. Yeah, might as well try one. You don't want to lose the crowd. Hey, throw that to crowd. They'll catch we don't, it. We don't want to hear the boo birds. Saints will defend 30 yards back. Time for one play here, barring a penalty here. Cards will go out of that shotgun. Myron. Got some time, gonna look deep. And he gets out of, a, he's looking deep downfield. He's, he's gonna let her fly and he's hit from behind and the ball will go out of bounds. And Myron couldn't get his feet set to let that one fly, and the Saints are going to take a 12-7 into the locker room here. Section 3 AAA football playoffs, the number four seed. St. Peter's Saints leading the number one seed, Fairmont Cardinals. 12-7 scoring. The Saints took an 80-yard opening drive. Wilmus with a three-yard touchdown run, 407 mark in the first. The only score in the first quarter. Then the cards come back on Daniel Ryder's interception return. At the 737 mark, Hestead's kick was good. And the Saints close it out the first half here with a one yard run by Willis with eight ticks on the clock. Two point conversion, no good. Cheerleaders will perform at half. Hey, chirping only from Mahoney Field, section playoff football. Stay tuned for the second half.
And welcome back here, halftime. Let's see. Peter Saints leading the Cardinals 12 7 in the playoffs here. Hey, Chirpinoli. Hey, oh. And the Gemini crew. We do not have any first half replays, I guess. Didn't save them in the truck. You only get two slices of pizzas. <laughs> of course, we won't get down there in time. They'll no, be all gone. They'll get it already. Yeah. Ah. Cardinals trailing 12 7. It started out this way. And the Saints scored on the opening drive, an 80 yard drive. Wilmus with a three yard TD run at the 407 mark in the first quarter. Then it was Daniel Ryder for the Cardinals picking off the Saints. 40 yard TD return on the interception. And the kick good by Hested. And with just eight seconds left in the first half, the Saints scored on a one yard run. Wilmus again scoring and the two point conversion. Both two point conversions for the Saints, no good. Cardinals. The number one seed trailing the number four seed, St. Peter Saints. Update on the <laughs> Tri City United, Jackson County Central game. That's 7 0 at halftime. Jackson County Central leading the Titans over there, the 2 3 seed game. The winners will play next Friday night, November 2nd at New Alm for the Section 3 AAA Championship. Some other scores. Dasso Cucado leading Marshall 3 to nothing at halftime. Marshall, a class above us. Some first half stats. Cardinals had one first down. The Saints had 13 first downs. Cards had 12 yards rushing. The Saints, 95 yards rushing. And that's been the story of the game, the rushing yardage. Cardinals have completed two passes for five yards. Are you trying? Yeah. You trying to read my notes there? Yeah. End over end kickoff. Cards, I'll take it at the 10 yard line. Looking for some blocking up that middle as Ringnell, he busts through a couple of tackle, then brought down over the 30 yard line. Yes, we were we were two for six for five yards Pass. in passing. Saints were eight of 12 for 89 yards. Penalties, penalty each, one for five, and, and a penalty that extended. And then that was the four Saints rushes, tried. 30 yeah. rushes. Yeah. Got a penalty to get a first down, led to the last touchdown. Saints have fumbled twice, Cardinals. And a penalty here on the Cardinals, the legal procedure. Cards with an interception for a touchdown, that was by Daniel Ryder. Wilmus, the main ball carrier for the Saints. He's got much of that. 95 yards. Cardinals just haven't been able to get the offense on track here. And making a nice play here and getting back near the original line of scrimmage. This is Jordan Walter. Miller for the Saints on the tackle. Saints led 6-0 after the first quarter. Cards come back, took the lead, 7-6. On Ryder's interception, second and 11 here. Myron looking downfield, he's gonna go deep, got a receiver out there, it's Schultz! He's behind everybody! 25, 15, five, touchdown Cardinals! Dustin Schultz! Myron to Schultz! <laughs> 48 yard TD play here. Cards on the board opening the second half. What a play. Good protection for Myron. 
Hestead will go for the traditional extra point here. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and it's good. Hooked inside the upright. The cards go up, 14-12. Look at this again. Myron with great protection. He waited for Schultz to uncover deep. And he was behind everybody. And nobody's gonna catch him. In stride. Just how we like it. <laughs> 68 yard TD pass. So much for taking that momentum in at halftime, Ole. <coughs> and the extra point. Hey, they took it in. They just didn't come out with it. Yeah, it's dead. Your State Farm John Corzumo replays. Kick, end over end. Gonna be fielded and dropped at the 16. Yeah, <laughs> level there and the flag comes out. As Walter with the hit. What a big hit on the return. And I'd say the penalty is going to come up here on the Cardinals, the Saints do. Anyway, we'll see what the call is. Look at the State Farm Corsmo replay. Did you catch the penalty? I was looking at the replay on the screen. And another face mask. <laughs> Didn't have time to face mask. What a hit. Jordan Walter. <coughs> It's gonna be on the Saints. It's on the Saints. Us. That's what I got my broadcast partner for. Thank you. Watching that replay. And I've got a producer. Yeah. <laughs> As I was writing down my stats on my stat board and looking at the replay. <laughs> Short Foley. game. <laughs> Say again. If we only had voices in our heads yeah. that we wanted to listen to. <laughs> yeah. You pointed out the right point, I think. Uh. <laughs> I think he made the right point. I was just writing down and We hear everything. Yeah. We just choose to listen to stuff. <laughs> Ten and a half to go. Cards on top here. 14-12 in the third quarter. <laughs> Second and six from the 21 of the Saints. Once again, Wilma's taking up every bit of the play clock. Some running room off tackle and a hurdle. And first down yardage for the Saints. Garrett Myron in on the stop. First down, Saints. I don't know if we got our monitor hooked up right. We got get more green grass on there. You think that's our screen? First and 10. I, th I think I got them hooked up right down here. The right colors. Quarterback keeper, that's Olsen. Olsen on the keeper. Uh, well, red to red, green to green, blue to blue. Push them in tight, Ole. <laughs> oh, now we don't have any picture there. Uh, you unplugged them, right? I unplugged them. Okay. <laughs> keep keep monkeying, you'll be on the payroll. Just let me know when we're watching John. Olsen, straight drop, quick pass, batted down at the line of scrimmage. It's Tate. He's having a game defensively. Nick Tate. Hey, that looks better, Oli. Good job. You're Do hired. I stand here with my one foot up? and Set it on the counter here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Okay. I won't touch it. I got it. Stand there and hold it. Though. That <laughs> looks much better. You got, you got br brown grass there. <laughs> now you got the green grass back up. It's my green. Mind. I'm happy. Send, send Bruce the bill. As long as you're happy. There you go. Olsen straight drop. Pressure coming from the backside. Passes out there. Almost picked off. Johnson went for the tackle. The ball hit him. Johnson and... And Barron getting to know each other after the play also. Watch yeah. this. Good pressure by the cards. 
<laughs> he just says, yeah, hey, hey, how are you and... doing? What, what you up to afterwards? Yeah, yeah you can go eat a bite to eat. for pizza, right? All right, yeah, that sounds good. Where are you going? Fourth down, cards hold here. The Saints will have to kick it away. Hey, Chirpinoli, you're watching Cardinal Football. hi -oh! Here on the Gemini Studios Mid-Continent Cable Network. Tape delay here on Midco 20. And the whistle will stop play. Oh. Cardinals blocked the last punt. That was a good one. Very good punt here. Punt it back to him. See what, what the call is here. Will not give the offside Saints Cardinals, Cardinals offside, so that'll mark it five yards. Still be fourth down. But it might give them a thought on a fake. Uh huh. Seen oh. a great fake situation by the Cardinals this year. A couple yards, a yard, long yard. Yeah, That's a trip, that, long yard. Yeah. That <laughs> don't get drawn off side the second time here. Oh, you had to say it. I did say it. You had to say it. So the Saints will take over and keep the ball here and move the. Remember, uh, yeah. Remember when Obama was president? And people thought <laughs> yeah. everything was going wrong. They'd say thanks, Obama. Yeah, yeah thanks, Chirp. <laughs> Nine ten to go. Well, watch this play here, Oli. Nine ten to go. First down on the penalty. Each team had a penalty in the first half. Olson pressure. Top. Johnson ball down there again, and it's caught. The Saints down inside the twenty yard line. They're going to mark it outside the twenty yard line. Good coverage by the Cards, but a great catch here again by the Saint receiver, Barron. Fourteen twelve. The cards with the only score here in the second half. Saints taking advantage of the offsides on the fourth down. Two of them run up the middle, and Ron right there, Jacob Ron, with the tackle. Helmet comes off, so that player will have to leave the field to play. A rule Billy Bob. In high school. Cardinals coached by Matt Mahoney, head coach. Brian Odlin, coach. Number four seeded, section three, triple A, Saints. And the number one seeded Cardinals Saints with a game on Tuesday night against Laverne. The Cards got the bye. Olsen, shovel pass, and hit immediately by Ringnell. And a gain of a, maybe a half yard or more. I'm gonna bring up third and third down. Seven. So we'll give him credit. It's a couple different plays now. <laughs> yeah, and get a look at the Sifey there, the down marker guy. Keep that tight, Sifey. Pull that chain as far as you can. He looks chilly. Gonna mark it back a half yard, so it's gonna be third and eight. Hey, look at that. His hairstyle is uh, catching yeah. on. Wyatt Frank coming in. Great catch by Bartsy last week on that sideline. Ball on the card, 20. Third and eight. Well, must in the backfield with Olsen. He's down and out move, going deep. Down there is the receiver, batted away by Bartz. Fourth down. Caden Bartz on the coverage. That ball hung up there a long time, Ole. High point. We talked about that high point again. Gave Bartz time to recover. Great defensive play there by Caden Bartz. He's played great this season. The six foot junior used every bit of that six foot. He took, adva down. took advantage of the receiver's uh, wait for it to get to me catch. 7.35 to go here in the third quarter. Saints with the ball. Pressure up the middle. Quarterback keeps it himself, throwing out there and over. Flag comes in late. They might have defensive interference here. What about offense? No, they're going to say it's offensive interference. I haven't said anything yet. Cardinals are saying it's offensive interference. Coach Johnson says, get off the field, boys. We got the ball. And so it's an offensive pass interference. The Cardinals will surely decline that and take the ball. 
Hey, my name's Oli. 1412 the score. Cards with the lead, 729 to go. Hey, some proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities include Culligan Water, Olson Reynolds. Hey. Bowmore Lanes, Doodle Carpet and Paint. Motion here by the cards. Fake one way. Give up the middle. Great run here following the Cedric Parker there. And the right mm -hmm. tackle leading Walter on that carry. A gain of eight. Going to make it seven. Third and a long three. Get a good look at that. Offensive line, Radinius, Chafee, Toomer, Ron, and Parker. Tight end, Thomas Johnson. Fake one way. Myron will keep it himself. Cuts through the hole. First down yardage, and then hit low. Loken's guard on the tackle there for the Saints. First down, the cards move the ball. Somehow a lot of orange come in that <coughs> duck hunters must be here or deer hunters. Across the way, the Saints bringing a good crowd over. I believe that's a student section. Thought maybe we'd see a few Halloween, Halloween costumes with Halloween coming up on Wednesday. Oli's got his Duck Dynasty one on. Every day. Every day. Myron, pass out there. Schultz catches it in the basket. Steps out of a tackle. Has another Cardinal first down. What a catch and run by Dustin Schultz. Good throw by Myron. State Farm, John Corsmo replay. Myron, right in the hands of Schultz. And he stepped out of that first tackle. And then brought down there by the Saints, Ryan Wilmus. One of the two Wilmuses playing here. There's the camouflage crowd from St. Peter. Walter, oh, look at this run. Hey, we can run too, they say. Take over, Toomer, Ron, Cedric Parker, Chafee. 6.13, clock stop to move the chains here in the third quarter. Saints on the board first with a three-yard run, Wilmus run in the first quarter, and the Cards come back on that 40-yard interception return by Daniel Ryder. And then the Saints scored just before the half. They led at the half, 12-7. Here's Walter again, just over the line of scrimmage and a good push. Picked up a couple. And here in the third quarter, just to open the third quarter, the Cards with 11.02 on the clock. Myron hits Schultz on a 68-yard touchdown pass. Hested with both extra points. Both two-point conversions for the Saints have failed. How important is that high school kicker, Goli? About as important as the professional one. <laughs> Ask Daniel, who got traded. I see they picked up the Viking kicker. Myron going deep. Receiver's down there. And Bunger turns around and cannot come up with it. Take a shot. Blake Buncher, yep. Spread out that defense. Jackson County Central, the number two seed hosting Tri-City United, the three seed. The last score we had at halftime was Jackson was ahead seven nothing over in Jackson today. The winners of these two games will play in the next Friday night. November 2nd at New Alm. Empty backfield here for Myron. Quick pitch out. It's Schultz looking for a couple of blocks. Dives over the 40. Is going to bring up fourth down. Anderson on the tackle for the Saints. And last state poll. The Cardinals are ranked number five. Jackson County Central number nine. Piers, Rochester, Lords, Moore, and Breck ahead of the Cardinals in that state poll. Cards going for it here on fourth down. Another huge down, Oli. And we got the Saints to jump off. Tit for tat. Boom. 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 <laughs> huge. You, you draw us offsides, we'll draw you offsides. How about that? Take that. And no bigger time for it. How's that medicine taste? Your own flavor? <laughs> That'll be an automatic first down for the cars.
Good job, good discipline by that offensive line and receivers not to move on that hard count. Myron will keep it himself, breaks the arm tackle, and then dives inside the 30. Myron on the carry, Anderson with the tackle. 427 to go here in the third quarter. Gain of five for Myron. He had eight TDs rushing this year, 16 passing. He had 415 yards on the ground this year. Garrett Myron, the senior. Myron looking downfield. He's going to go deep. He's got a receiver down there. Catches made. It's Burhau at the goal line. And they're going to mark it inches outside the goal line. What a catch by Burhau. Three fifty-six to go, and we got a Saint player down. Look at this play again. A twenty-eight yard pass play. Myron, good protection again, and Burhau using that height on that catch and how he was not in the end zone, right on the end line. He fell on that player, and that player is up for the Saints. Number four, who was on coverage, and Nick Morgan, 5'9", Burhau, 6'2". Played an important role on that catch. Guards with 3.54 and counting on the one yard line. Myron, he pushes ahead, no signal. They're gonna say he's inches short. I don't know how they could tell that wall of red and white there. They had a feeling. I think maybe that's how they do it. That official's foot barely fits between the goal line and that ball. Still Section number? playoff football, the cards, second and goal. Myron, he goes off tackle. Signal is touchdown. touchdown. Far side oh. official says Myron is in on the one yard run. With 3.14 to go here in the third quarter. Myron, one yard run. Extra point, Kevin. Cards lead 2012. Heston on for the extra point. Good snap. Kick is up. Kick is true. 21-12. A two possession lead here for the Cardinals with 3.14 to go. Look at the second and goal play here. Here at Myron in that wall of red and white. Went off tackle this time instead of straight ahead. Off that right tackle over there, Cedric Parker, and right guard Jacob Ron, making a, a slight hole there for Myron to get through. And Hestet will come on and make it a two possession game here. A little breathing room, Ole. I like it. I like to breathe. <laughs> Breathing's good. Breathing's good. I'd rather not choke. You know, George Burns turned 100 and, went, and he appeared on Johnny Carson. Did he choke? No, no, <laughs> no. Johnny Carson asked him, what's the secret of living to be 100? You know what he said? <laughs> Breathing. Breathing. Low line drive kick here. I'm gonna take a hop at the 22 and they're gonna say the Saint receiver was on his knee when he fielded that ball and that's down automatically. Let's see if we got this play. The only guy that can be down on one knee is who? Tebow? The holder on the extra points. Noted. Noted? <laughs> okay. Watch this. So as he fields this ball, he goes down to one knee like a second baseman, shortstop. Yep. Ball, his knee was on the ground. Yep. You nailed it. They'll spot it. The 
22-yard line of the Saints. The trail, 21-12 with 3-12. You remember the Tebow thing, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tim Tebow, yeah. What happened to that guy? Yeah, I think he's still playing Canadian football. Pressure. Olsen out of the pocket. Ortiz had a shot at him. Looking for some blocks on that sideline and a couple of big hits over there. Jordan Walter with the angle tackle and Daniel Ryder comes up and drops Olsen over there. Short game. Is that like American football, but everybody's just really polite and says, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After every time they hit somebody. Oh, that's right. They get to run around. They have yeah, like they five guys in motion. motion at and one time, yeah. Come running up to the line of Gain scrimmage. Of three on the play, they say. Second and seven from the 25-yard line. Ring now. Johnson sneaking up that line of scrimmage. A reverse play here. And it's Rod and a big hit by Walter. Heinze in there also. Cardinals sniffed that one out. Look at the replay on this one. Yeah, they're having to get away from their five plays. A little bit of trickery here by the Saints, but it doesn't work. As Ron gets in there and ring now. A loss of three on the play with two to play here in the third quarter. Your State Farm John Corzmo replay. Quickly played first half. And moving right along here with 1.45 to go in the third quarter. Olsen, that bubble screen here. Some running room along the far sideline here for the Saints. This is going to work out well. Down the sideline, Schultz chasing and clipped there at the 10 yard line. Saints come up with a big play. 1.33 to go. That bubble screen works here for the Saints. They aren't going home yet. Nice play here. Just that bubble screen set up where the receiver on the outside comes back in <coughs> towards the line of scrimmage and it's like a punt return. And you set up that wall and there's lots of running room. Schultz and Dominic Ortiz, give Ortiz credit. He plays in that nose tackle position and he's down there with Johnson to save the touchdown. Saints in business though. Here first and goal from the Cardinal nine. Your State, State Farm John Corsmo replay. Run up the middle, Ron right there with an ankle tackle. Short game. Wilmus with the carry. He's got a couple of short yard TD runs today. Hunter Wilmus, 185 pounds a year. 5'9", a bulldozing back. Saints had 95 yards in that first half, rushing to the cards 12. 45 ticks to go here in the third quarter. Number four seed Saints, knocking on the door. Cardinals got to buy the one seed. Quick slant pattern and a catch is made inside the three yard line. No, they're gonna say it hit the ground first. Good coverage, just a quick slant pattern. Oh man, these next two downs, they're gonna be big. Huge. <laughs> Some might even say huge. Third and goal here at the eight yard line of the cards. But I ain't one of those. Cards so. come up with a fourth down stop earlier when the Saints were down here. See if they can do it again. Daniel Ryder, Caden Bartz in on that play the last time. Knocked the passes away. Cross pattern going towards the corner. Receivers down there and cannot be caught. Dustin Schultz on the coverage for the Cardinals. Once again, Olsen with time to get that pass off. Ball intended for number 30 for the Saints, the tight end, Brock Hansen. He had a touchdown catch in that earlier game when the Saints played Laverne Tuesday night. Hansen had seven catches for 121 yards. Saints are going to go for a field goal. Hey, as long as you're down here, you get some points, right? A 25 yard attempt here by Eli Lubani. Kick is up, it's blocked! Live ball. I was going to say it's live, right? And the Cardinals will take over again. They hold again. See who got that block. I think it's Ringnell and Tate. Cards will take over, they stop them again. 
Ringnell lays out like Superman. He is Superman. What a play. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Ringnell. Zach Ringnell. Your State Farm. John Corsmo replay. What an outstanding effort there by the senior Ringnell. Myron, I'll hand off. It's Huey in the backfield pushing forward. He's going to gain about three, four with 10 seconds to go in the quarter. And this should be the last play unless there's a flag there. I don't see any. Johnson loses his helmet. And he'll have some words with the official. Cards! We'll head to the fourth quarter with the lead. They lead 21 12 over the number four seed, St. Peter Saints. A chirping only here from Mahoney Field. It's playoff football. You feel it in the air. Other proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities include the Butcher Block, AOK Plumbing Heating, Bank Midwest, Fairmont Photo Press, Fairmont Body Shop, Taste Street Service, Saddest Installation, Thrive of Financial, Scott Foreman, your agent here, Fairmont Ford, Associate Optometry, Lawn Solutions, London Chiropractic, Perkins Family Restaurant, Day Plumbing Heating, the Visual Identity Vault, Frontier Communications, Graham Tire, Lakeview Funeral Home, the Ranch Family Restaurant, and don't forget about Replay, located downtown Fairmont, next to Gemini Studios, a couple doors down from Jake's Pizza. New GameStop for all you gamers out there. Fortnite players, you play that Fortnite? Absolutely I do not. Okay. <laughs> the last, 12 The last mobile device game I was playing was Clash of Clans. You didn't play it. It's... Huey up over the 15 yard line is going to bring up third. A long five for the Cardinals. Oh, I'm going to give him forward progress here. He'll make it third and four. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. You're watching Cardinal football here on the Gemini Studios Mid Continent Cable Network. Tape delay here on Midco Channel 20. Third and four here for the Cards. Myron, looking downfield, pass is caught by Schultz, breaks an arm tackle, then dropped hard out near the 29-yard line, but it's a first down by the Cardinals. Brock Hansen put a good lick on Schultz, but he hung on on the ball. Key, that's the key in that part. Nuss will come in here for the Cardinals, Tony Nuss. He had some big catches this year. Schultz, he's six TD catches coming into this game. And he's got another one today. Schultz, almost 600 yards receiving this year. Nussel's flip-flop sides. Cards with four receivers, top of your screen. This is interesting. And it's gonna be Bunger down here by himself. Almost pulled it in one-handed. Single coverage, everybody was on the top of your screen. And that's what they went to, the one-on-one -on -one here on the near sideline, that was Bunger. Blake Bunger, a sophomore. He's 6'5", and he was going against the five foot nine senior, Morgan, using that height advantage. Burt Howe and Bunger, here at the bottom of your screen. Motion, Myron will keep it himself, heads back up the middle, and he's stopped with a short game, gonna bring up third down. 10.55 and counting. Cards lead here in this section championship game, 21-12. You didn't stay up for that playoff World Series game last night that went to... Judging by your eyes, you didn't. You look well rested. Oh, man. <laughs> I slept in this morning. I had to stay up. 13th inning, I go, they're going to score. The 14th inning, and they're going to score. The 16th inning, they're going to score. 18th inning, they finally score. And the cards will draw the Saints offsides again here. A whole other game. Tale of two different halves. The Dodgers winning last night. The Red Sox lead the series 2-1. to one. Another game tonight. Dodgers looking to even the series. 
miss Vin Scully making those calls though. He is a good baseball announcer. Myron. Jordan in the backfield with him. Jordan Walters. Cards will use the play clock. It'll be under 10 minutes to go after this play here in the fourth quarter. Walter looking for some running room. Not going to get much there. He's going to bring up fourth down. Cards will see if they'll send out the kicking unit here. They do. Why not? They haven't done much the second half. The Saints you're talking about. There you go. Sometimes I just cut them short. And yeah. <laughs> the fifth ranked in state Cardinals. Looking to make a date with the winner of the Jackson County Central, who's ranked number nine in state, and the Tri-City United Titans. Lights come on here at Cardinal Field, and down there, Ryder. Not seconds after the catch. Nice play by Daniel Ryder, who's got the first score today for the Cardinals. Hested, end over end kick. Ryder, he's being blocked all the way down. And he makes a nice tackle. Daniel Ryder, your State Farm, John Corsmo replay. I suppose that's gonna make a difference? The sky? No, the lights. The lights? <laughs> but thanks sky for the kick. confidence. <laughs> I'm looking up and he says, no, what, the sky? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna make a difference. <laughs> what are you talking about? Olsen looking downfield, double move. Pressure from the backside, the cards got him, and flags fly. Ron! And Hines in on that play. Chance to look at this again. And I suspect you watch the official. See if he'll give that holding call. I'll watch the replay for you. Holding. Sending them back. It was a double move route, and Olsen tried to wait for the receiver to uncover, but great coverage on that far side, and that was Caden Bartz, and that led to the tackle. Cardinals decline the penalty, take the sack, and we'll bring up second. Ball marked on the 27-yard line of the Saints. Looking down, oh, screenplay set up pretty good here for the Saints. Back over to the original line of scrimmage and more. Good call there by the Saints play caller. Olsen. Gonna bring up a manageable third and short. Third and three from the 44 yard line of the Saints. And they trail 21-12 here with 8.40 to go here in the fourth quarter. Olsen, three receivers top of your screen. He'll keep it himself. Tate has the tackle, but he uses that six foot five frame and falls over the line of scrimmage. And the first down mark for another Saints first down. Is that like failing upwards? Failing upwards or coming ahead forward? No, failing upwards, <laughs> it's a thing. So if you fall ahead for yeah. the first down, yeah. You gotta move your clocks. That's coming. November sometime. I next it's weekend, next it's always weekend. deer hunting weekend. Yeah. Fall ahead. Cards stay on side, but no. No, no, no. The helmet must have broke that plane. Neutral zone. Cards move, but they did not. I got a good vantage point here. Yeah, right down that line of scrimmage. So after only two penalties, one each in the first half, quite a few flags here in the second half. 8-10 to go. It is brighter out there. <laughs> That's the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Olsen, pressure, hit, ball's out there. And right through the hands of Burrow. Stepped in front of the intended receiver. Quarter, Big hit on the quarterback. Uh, yeah, so I was just gonna say, he took a little Look at that play, a good rush there. by Ron and Tate again here. See if we got that play. Breaking through, boom. Olsen had to get rid of it. That gave Burhout time to step in front of the intended receiver, Brock Hanson. Second and five from the cards, 47. New running back in there for the Saints. And quarterback will keep it himself, Walters. Tripped him up, and it's near the first down mark. 
don't know if they know this, but they need two scores. Mm -hmm. And they're running the ball? They got nine points to get. With 7.35 and counting to go. Third and short. Just saying, I think I'd try to be in a little bit more of a hurry, but hey, that's just me, and that's why I'm on top of the press box. <laughs> well, I know you're in a hurry to get to that MSU Mavericks game. Today. I mean, they're doing me a favor there. Yeah, you know. get you there quicker. This thing might be over by 5 o'clock. Who are the Mavericks playing hockey today? That's a good question. I just know they're in town. Yeah. Quarterback will keep it himself and hit at the line of scrimmage, but it looks like he's going to have another Saint first down. And I just know it's going to be good hockey. Mavericks are ranked right now. Yeah. I think they're number four in the country. They've had a good program since they went to D1. Well, since they brought in the new head coach. Yeah. Seven minutes to go. Saints with the first down here at the Cardinal 42-yard line. <laughs> number four seed, Saints looking up in the number one seed, Cardinals. Tickling my Pressure throat. from the backside. And down goes Olsen and off the hands again here of Burha. Good coverage. Olsen went down hard again. Ringnell and Tate met him at the pass. Second and ten. Clock stopped on the incompletion. 6.46 on the clock I think here I in the fourth quarter. I suppose I jinxed myself now? Yep, probably. Another screen pass set up. Almost picked off. Heinze and Tate. That would have been it. Tate with the pressure. And Heinze went up. Almost caught this one. That would have been six. Tate with the pressure. Heinze. Oh. He was down on his knees and came Got up from up. it. Yeah. A lineman's dream. Third and ten. Saints tried that successful screenplay that they ran earlier. This one. Tate and Heinze disrupt. 6.40 to go. Roll out. Tate chasing from behind. And almost got their catch made at the sticks. Great grab there by Joey Barron. And the Saints will pick up a first down. Six and a half to play. Nice catch by the Saints receiver. <laughs> Call him dumb, send it earlier. Met at the line of scrimmage and bowling ahead for a few yards. It's almost like... Uh... <laughs> Why would we Second stop now? Six. Ball on the Cardinal 27. <laughs> this is how we started the year, Chirp. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's been a great year. Looking out in the flats, pass over the middle, pass down there and almost caught. Cade Martz again on the coverage. Twenty-one, twelve cards. They lead. Handoff in the backfield. And sliding through a couple tackles. A great run here by the Saints. They have another first down near the 15-yard line. Wilmus again, the main ball carrier here today. First and 10, ball on the Cardinal 14. 5.35 to go. Play clock at seven. Olson looking out in the flats, pass down there, picked off! 
Keaton Mertz. Five twenty to go. Cards come up with their second interception. Bartz has played well today with a huge interception there. <laughs> the State Farm John Corsmo replay. Bartz stride for stride. Number 13 there. Turns around, pulls it in. And he holds on to the ball. The cards take over with 5.20 to go. Daniel Ryder with an interception return. Now Bartz with an interception. Touchdown saving play. Myron, quarterback draw, running room. Hit hard out near the 28 yard line. Good run there, Garrett Myron. Yeah, I'll need a five minute drive here, Ole. And now. 21-12. Don't be in any hurry here, boys. Play clock at six. Myron will call the play. Hikes it with three seconds left to go. It's Walter. He has the first down. That'll stop the clock and let it go. You got it, Ole. Well, while Chirp calls in to uh, tell him to get our pizza here a little earlier, because he had told them previously 6 o'clock or 5.45 at half, when I told him maybe you want to think a little sooner. Hey, this is Jim and I see this. We Snap, to keeper. Myron gets crossed. Oh, he jumps over, and a flag on the play. I, I, the, the ref flew through the flag about as soon as he jumped in the air, so I don't know what this is going to be. I want to see the call, though, if the official jumps in the air to make the call. No jumping rule. You missed Hurtling. it. You missed it. Let's see the replay. we got to show Chirp. Yeah, we gotta I show saw chirp. it. I don't know why that's a... A penalty. Look at the replay. No hurdling. You can do it in the pros, I know. Here's Myron with the carry. Whoop. And then he throws the flag. Like, was it because of the tackle out of bounds, maybe? No, I'm not. I think it's because uh, he is pulling the flag out on the hurdle. We'll see what they call here. Oh, uh, he's got to explain it. Yep. I don't know if there's a. Why is that? You know who that was hurdling the call was? Started it was Randall Cunningham. He did that in the game, so they made that. A penalty that you couldn't hurdle a defensive player. Well, they must have made that not a rule anymore. They and must it have. Isn't where they, where they retracted yeah, it. And that's the same. You remember, you used to couldn't hit a offensive player, and an offensive player couldn't make a catch. <laughs> Does the official else. not know if it's a rule? That's good possibility. Hey, I, I know why they wa would want to make it a rule because of a safety issue. Is what should we call want. this on you? Yeah. What do you think? Well, I never seen the signal before. Hurdling. I wanted to see Offense. him like call it like hurdling. <laughs> yeah, jump up in the air <laughs> do his Rinaldo Nehemiah hurdle. <laughs> Rinaldo Nehemiah hurdler. Olympic hurdler. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with you on that one. <laughs> okay. Google it. <laughs> Google it. Ask Mr. Bonk. I think he would know. Congratulations to Bob Bonk. He's got three state runners this year. Sorry, Crumholtz and Thompson. Motion here by Burha. Jordan Walter, after the penalty, made it first and 17. Gets back nearly all the yardage of the penalty with under four minutes to go. You can't do that. You can't hurdle. Haven't seen any update in that Tri-City United, Jackson County Central, the other playoff contest. The two winners from these games will meet up Next Friday night in New Alm. Hey, were they gonna get that pizza here earlier? Hey, Brian said he'd tell them to rush it. Rush it! Rush it. He said Cress was hungry in the trailer. Hand off to Walter. Running room! Out near the first down mark. Jordan Walter. Now, it, he is, hurdled. Is that a hurdle? 
Yeah. He went over he got, there. Uh, yeah, he got tackled, <laughs> and the guy hurdled him. <laughs> Saints will use one of their timeouts here. There was no extending of the legs. Hey, this telecast under the authority of the Minnesota State High School League. It's playoff football. Other proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities include Gemini Studios, Day Plumbing, Heating, the Visual Identity Vault, Frontier Communications, Graham Tire, Lakeview Funeral Home. Also, Century 21, Fairmont Booster Club, JL Computers, Mayo Clinic Health Systems. Update on that. Tri-City United, Jackson County Central game. Tri-City United, nine. Jackson County Central, seven. Whoa. Uh, two, two seed, Jackson County Central hosting the three seed, Tri-City United, after three periods of play. The winner of this game will take on that winner. This is a long time out. 3.15 to go. Saints with their first time out here in the second half. Cardinals will go out of the under center formation. High backfield. Hand off to the second back. Push for that first down. The Cards get the first down. Straight ahead forward, block him. Cedric Parker, Carson Toomer, Eli Redinius, Riley Chafee, Cedric Parker, Eli Redinius. Did I say those guys twice? Chafee, Toomer, Ron, Parker, Thomas Johnson. 21-12, 3.04 to go. Saints got on the board first on an 80-yard opening drive. Wilmus with a three-yard run in that first quarter, the only score in the first quarter. Cards come back on Daniel Ryder's interception. 40-yarder. Kick was good. And the Saints led at the half after Wilmus's second town, touchdown run. 12-7. Walter bowling ahead. And the Saints trying to strip that ball. And a quick timeout nearby the Saints. 12-7 at the half, the Saints led. The Cards opened up the third quarter with a 68-yard touchdown pass from Myron to Schultz. Cards led. And then Myron bowled over from one yard. To give the Cards the 20-12 lead and Estet added the extra point, 21-12. Couple of great defensive plays here today, Ole. Yeah, defensive those backs. Red zone stops. I mean, those Two are red, huge. red zone stops. Yes. Uh, Caden Bartz, huge on both of those. Daniel Ryder, huge on one side of the end zone. Bartz coming up with a huge interception. Dustin Schultz. Also. Ringnell and Walters. We might add movement by the Cardinals here. Saints said the cards moved. The they, officials they agree. Calling on the wide out, so I know what early saw it. It'll back up the cards. It'll be second and nine with 2.34 to go. Two timeouts by the Saints. They have one left. Quick played game here, Oli. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm appreciating it. You got a, what time's that Maverick hockey game start? Seven. Seven. Takes an hour to get there. You might have to take your pizza and run. Might not be able to wait for the pizza. <laughs> and Myron will get back to the line of scrimmage and the last time out called here by the Saints. Third and nine. Hey, some other proud supporters of the Cardinal Youth, Ac Youth Activities include the Butcher Block, Tasty Service, Pizza Ranch, 
We'll take them for the delicious pizza, Hertzke Construction, State Farm Insurance, John Corsmo, agent. Raby International, DeWar Electric, the Squeegee Brothers, State Bank of Fairmont, Jake's Pizza, Johnson Bank the Wilson's Law Firm, FairmontSports.com, Midwest Audio Video, Fairmont Area School Districts, Mayo Clinic Health Systems. Well, after those first half stats, Ole, when you brought them back, it was hard to believe the cards were two of five passing for six yards in that first half. And We're only down by five. Four y rushes for 12 yards and only down. If it wasn't for that interception for a touchdown. Daniel Ryder. He'll be picking a ranch player of the game. Maybe two, huh, Mr. Producer? He says, sure. Keep that in mind, Ole. Myron out of the shotgun and the cards will use their timeout. And they said, last update we had Jackson trailing Tri City United 9 7. Thought they had after their last the third timeout. quarter. Now who's calling timeouts? Cardinals leading here if that would hold. The cards would take on the number three seed. Titans, who they've already played this year. That game was back on Friday, September 21st. We defeated Tri-City United 45-21 in that game. Tri-City United defeated the Saints this year also. One difference, the quarterback, starting quarterback, not playing that Tri-City United game. Now they have them back. Third and nine, make it eight. Cards have the ball and the clock in their favor. 226 go in the game. Myron looking downfield, passing the flat. First down, Cardinals. Ortiz down the sideline. At the 10. And the cards. Flags come out late. The officials. And we'll discuss this. What a great play, catch and run here by Ortiz. Just out in the flats. Yeah, it's always the guy. All individual effort here. Dominic Ortiz has the cards first and goal. We'll see what the penalties after they sort them out. It's definitely Your something. State Farm, John Corzmo replay. It's definitely something that carries over between the two sports is, and when Ever there is an infraction or some pushing, shoving, things like that, it's always the guy that responds. <laughs> to the retaliation. Yep, it's yeah. always the retaliatory that gets it. So I always yeah, tell your guys, yeah. just hey, walk away, skate walk away, away, whatever. Yeah, it's tough to do. It's very hard to do when any, they have you on a headlock. Any level of sport, <laughs> yep. It's, you know, sometimes it's just a natural reaction kind of like me when I was trying to adjust the pictures and you were slapping my hand. <laughs> or What a run here. That's a first down run. Jordan Walter. He's had a great game here today too. One thirty-four to go. Second and short. <laughs> Twenty-one twelve. Cards need a first down here and seal it there. Jordan Walter does that. Walter on the carry. First down, Cardinal. The Saints. A great effort here today. They led 12-7 at the half. The number four seeded Saints after their victory over Laverne. We'll finish the year with a six and four record. The Cards will move on with an eight and one record. And if things hold over in Jackson, it could be the Cardinals with a rematch against Tri-City United Titans. 
That'll be seven o'clock in New Orleans. Second consecutive year, the Cards have been playing again in that championship game. Up in New Orleans, it'll be a different opponent than Jackson one of these times. They've been playing Jackson quite a few times for the section championship if Tri-City United holds on. Meyer in victory formation with 20 seconds. That'll be the last play. Cards will win it here today. 21-12. The Saints got on the board first. Wilmus with a three-yard run. And then it was the Cards. Ranch player of the game, Daniel Ryder with an interception. Return for a touchdown. Got the cards on the board in that first half. The Saints scored again on a short Wilmus run. They led 12-7 at the half. Then open up the second half. Our other ranch player in the game, Garrett Myron. Hit Dustin Schultz on a 68-yard pass play. And then Myron himself again with 314 left to go. In the third, or third quarter, plunged over from a yard out. Ryder and Myron are ranch players of the game. Congratulations to those young fellows. We'll make sure they get their gift certificates. Daniel Ryder, number 25. Garrett Meyer, number 11. Our ranch players of the game. Congratulations to the Cardinals. As they move on and uh, play for the section championship at New Alm next Friday night. Last year, they defeated Laverne. In the first game of the playoffs, then knocked off Jackson County Central 29-21 in the, in the playoffs. And then went to State where they rematched with Jordan, losing that game 20-13. Good luck to the Cardinals as they move on here in the playoffs. Congratulations to the Saints on their good season and their 6-4 and four record. Hey, I want to thank all our proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities. All the viewers that watch us here on the Midco Channel 20, thanks for viewing. Also, I want to thank the guys working with us here in the truck. Nick Cress on replay, Preston Anderson also in there, and John the tech guy keeping us alive. Sometimes on the web and tape delay here at Midco 20. Also, our cameraman producer, benevolent overlord, Bruce Abbott. Great job. Also, my broadcast partner here, Ole Olson. Hi, O. Thanks a lot, Ole. Appreciate your company. No, nope. thanks for having me again. You betcha. Good luck as hockey coach there for the boys' hockey program. We'll be out there doing some telecasts, all the winter sports coming up. Look forward to having you. Our last fall broadcast here. We want to thank everybody again. Good luck to the Cards in the playoffs. A final from Mahoney Field. The Cardinals win it here today. 21-12. Hey, this has been Church. Stay on the planet.